In this Photoshop tutorial, we are going to take a beginning look at masks. And masks are a very important technique to learn in order to start doing some interesting effects with your photos. At a basic level, you use masks to either hide or show something, and we'll get to that in a minute. Masks are also non-destructive, and we'll talk about that also later on. Okay, so let's get going, and I'm just going to open up an image here just so that we have something to work with, and I'm going to open up this downtown big city image. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create an empty layer. Now you will remember in the last video I talked about the different ways that you can create layers. And here's yet another way that you can create a layer. And you can do that right down here by selecting this icon. Or you can go up to the menu and select layer, hit new, and select layer. And we're just going to call this layer 1. And there you can see now we have our empty layer. Now over here, I want you to go ahead and select the Rectangular Marquee Tool. So go ahead and select that. And we're just going to create a very simple rectangle here. Good. And what I want you to do is go up to Edit, and we're going to go ahead and fill that rectangle. And then in the drop-down, we're going to go ahead and select Color. And let's just select a bright yellow color here. Very simple. And we'll hit OK. And there you can see now we've got our rectangular shape. And go ahead and hit Control d and that will deselect the marquee tool. And then we're just going to go ahead and use the select tool to move this right down here. Good. Okay. Now what I want you to do is go over to the layers panel and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And we're just going to call this layer 2. Very simple. And then let's go ahead and drag the layer 2 over to the right a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this one more time, and we're just going to call this Layer 3. And we'll move Layer 3 over a little bit to the right. Good. Now we've got our three layers. Now the first layer we're not going to touch. We're just going to leave that as is for now. But we're going to add our mask to the second layer. That's the first mask that we're going to go ahead and add. So what we're going to do is go up to Layer, and we're going to go down to Layer Mask. Now, don't worry about vector masks and create clipping masks. We'll talk about those in later videos. In this video, we're going to just talk about the two basic type of layer masks. And those are these two options right here, Reveal All and Hide All. Those are the basic two masks that you will use in Photoshop. So we're going to select the Reveal All mask first. So I'll go ahead and select that. And there you can see we've got this new thumbnail that is our mask thumbnail. It's basically to the right of our layer thumbnail, which is right here. So this is the mask thumbnail, and this is the layer thumbnail. And as I said, now we have this mask thumbnail, and it is white. And so basically the way Photoshop works is white will reveal everything. And so if you take a look at our second layer here, everything is revealed from our original shape, this rectangular shape. So just let that soak in for now. Now let's go to this layer 3, and let's go ahead and add another mask. And we're going to go down to Layer Mask, of course. And now, instead of revealing all, we're going to hide all. And take a look at that. Now we have a black thumbnail mask. And you'll also notice that our rectangular object disappeared. And that's because black hides all. So think of it like this. Basically in real life, if you're out at night, you can't really see anything, right? So that's probably their thinking behind this, that black will hide everything. And if you're out in the middle of the day, it's light and you can see everything. And so that's why light reveals all. So these are the two different types of masks that you will use. Black hides everything and white reveals everything. And again, we can see that right here because the layer 2 is revealed. And now the layer 3 is hidden because we use the hide all mask here. Now let's go back to our layer 2 mask. And by the way, make sure that you select the actual mask. I've done this many times before where I've actually selected the content layer thumbnail by mistake. So just always keep an eye what you have selected over in the layers panel. It's really easy to select something other than what you intended. So let's go ahead and select our layer mask again. And now what I want you to do is select the paintbrush tool. And you can do that by just pressing B on your keyboard, and now you can see we have it selected. Right-click on that and make sure that the first option here is selected, the brush tool. Then make sure that white is selected, and it is indeed selected. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just start painting on here, and you're going to see that nothing happens. Now the reason for this is, remember, white reveals all. So obviously everything's already revealed in our shape. Now what we really want to do is switch the color to black. So let's go ahead and start painting now. And now take a look at that. We're now hiding this yellow color because this is black. 
So that's why we have black selected here. We're going to start hiding portions of this rectangle. And as we know, black accomplishes that. Now, what I want to show you really quickly is let's go ahead and select the layer thumbnail and let's actually select black again and watch what happens here. It's actually just going to put black there. And the reason is we have the original layer selected, our rectangular object. And so we're just putting black pixels here like you normally would. But black, as we know, in masks is very different. It basically hides things. And so if we start doing this again, we are once again hiding the yellow pixels in our rectangle. And as you noticed, we are basically revealing whatever layers are below. And in this case, it's this image, this city image here will be revealed because, of course, this is at a lower level. So we're going to reveal whatever content is in the layer below. And in this case, of course, it is this background image. Now let's go ahead and flip up to our layer three mask. And of course, here we're hiding the entire rectangle. And so we need to go ahead and flip our colors back here. And as we know, white reveals content. So let's go ahead and start painting in here. And look, now we're actually revealing some of this rectangle. Now, we're using the paintbrush tool, but there are many different ways to reveal and hide masks. You can use many different tools, and we'll talk about that in future videos. Now, you might ask, well, why didn't I just use the eraser tool? And I'll explain that. So let's go down to layer one. And what I want you to do is go ahead and select the eraser tool and just go ahead and start erasing things. And as you can see, it's very similar to what we were doing in layer two. Here is the difference though, and it's a big difference. This is considered destructive. So we are destroying our original content here. Whereas in this case, we have a mask that we were working with. And so we could just simply go ahead and delete the mask and add a new one and start over again. Whereas in layer one, this would be more difficult to do. Now, you could, of course, go up to edit and undo the eraser, but that might not be so easy to do later on. It could be this is a very complicated logo. You have done hundreds of edits, and it might not just be a simple thing of undoing these changes. So that is the huge benefit of masks. They are considered non-destructive because we can always just simply delete them and re-add them with just a few clicks. Okay, so that is a beginning look at masks. We will continue on with this subject in the next video. Thank you.